Welcome to the office. Okay. My right shoulder hurts right in the if middle. If you sleep on your right shoulder. Even if I sleep on it, yeah, it hurts right in the middle. And it goes up into my neck and slightly feels like a nerve issue. So you're saying from here it goes up? Yeah. Not from here going down? I, I don't know if I know, would know the difference. Okay. You just feel the whole thing? I feel literally the whole thing. Okay. Let's rewind a little bit. Okay. Okay. Number one is the shoulder. Number one is the shoulder. And <laughs> something that we haven't spoke about previously is there is something going on in my right groin. Okay. Which doesn't feel like a groin strain. It's something I've never felt before. I don't understand what it is, but it's actually more painful than a groin strain. Started when? About six weeks ago. During dance? Yes. Practice? You were practicing? I, I, or either performing? a performance or a practice. Okay. Probably a performance. Oh my gosh, I know what it is. What? I know what it is. I just remembered. See how it comes up? Yeah. See how that works? Yes. Tell I me. know exactly what it was. It was a particular move we did in our opening number on the tour that we just finished. And um, I kind of picked my leg up to the right and swung it around and it was very, very heavy on the groin. On the inside? Inside. Okay. And that's why I think I initially thought, oh, groin strength, but this is somehow feels different. Okay. Don't know if I've damaged it a little more. Okay. We'll take a look at it. Okay. We'll take a look at it. So number one is shoulder. Mm -hmm. Started... Oh, six months ago. Six months ago. Prior to six months ago, there's been no shoulder issues? No. This was a definite injury. Okay. What did you do? Head whip um, and back bend combined. And it really, it felt like now I don't have the range of motion. So on this side, I feel... Ooh, I just hear the click. Okay. On this side, I feel like I'm. my body is not stopping myself from going there. This okay. side, I, I, I am stopping myself or I can't. So what she's describing is she can laterally bend to the left side. Yes. But she can't laterally bend the neck to the right side. Right. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So shoulder growing is recent. Six weeks? Yes. What else? Um, so this is what got you, finally got you in here? This is what got me in here. Okay. And um, and then also, years and years ago, I had an x-ray which did show that my neck, and I tried to fix it at the time, but I don't think it really fixed. My okay. neck um, is kind of not going in the right way. I don't know how to... Correct. Describe that, but I think you can we'll, see it. We'll, we'll go over your answers yeah. in detail. It's going in the opposite direction. Right. And we need to talk about consequences. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And the fixes. Okay, good. And then the last thing is going to be the management. So okay. what are things we can fix? What are things that have to be managed? Mm -hmm. You're a dancer. Yeah. Okay. You plan on dancing for a while still? Yes, I okay. do. Okay. So with that, we need to talk about those management things. What are things you're going to do in your routine right. and in your training? Mm -hmm. And some of the stuff may seem kind of boring because and I've taken care of a lot of dancers. Mm -hmm. The thing with the dancers is that you're very flexible and you, mm -hmm. you guys push yourselves. Mm -hmm. And the simple things I may have you do may seem very easy, mm -hmm. but they need to be done as okay. well. Okay? I'm down. Go. Cool. We're going to take a line from L5. Mm -hmm. And it should line up with C7 and C2. And where is C7 and C2? Back here. What this shows us is this. This line should be bisecting here. Instead, what it's showing us is you carry your upper body behind your foundation. Mm -hmm. So these muscles across the shoulder here are working overtime, extra hard. extra hard. We'll get back to that x-ray. So one is the posture, two is the, do we have the right curvature? We actually need a tiny bit more curve, just a tiny bit. Okay. And you can see through the mid back, we want a little more curve. Okay. And the way we're gonna do that is by settling the foundation, fixing the foundation, uh -huh. so you're more fluid. Okay. So when we're looking at the foundation, and we're gonna get to all this up here, first thing we wanna know is do we have a level base and foundation? So if we zoom in, mm -hmm. and the first thing is, is it level? It's slightly off, okay? Slightly. 
So when we look here, you can see this obturator, this hole is smaller. Yes. This one's a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. The pubic bone goes slightly off the crease of the bump. Okay. Slightly. We, but we do have a slight short leg on the left side. We tilt a little bit on that left. Okay. And where it's coming from is this, I'm gonna watch my finger here. It does this and then it bends to that left side. Uh-huh, yes. Do you see that? Yeah, absolutely. And that is probably where we're going to start somewhere in here to bring that tailbone up. Okay. Okay? Now, let's go a little deeper than that. So we have a tailbone issue. We're slightly off. Let's look at your SI joints, your sacroiliac joints, and I think it's going to make sense about that whipping action you were talking about. Mm -hmm. You can see good space between your SI joints here on the left side. On the right side, it looks like it's jamming a little bit on the top right. Right. And that's why we're having that issue. Okay. Okay, I'll, when I feel, I'll show you what I'm talking more. Okay. Now, if we change the contrast a little bit, oh, you yeah. can see through it, yes? That goes all the way up. And this one kind of stops in here. Yeah. Okay and you see the slight little bend going on in the tailbone. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue. So let's look at the numbers, and the numbers will give us a better idea of what's going on and the fix. Okay, so here's the, the fix for balance. Number one, we have PI3, so what PIAS, so the way the ilium works or misaligns, or moves on your left side, it goes down three. Uh -huh. well, it's going down three. The sacrum on the left side goes back two and down three also. So we have two issues. We have the sacrum and we have the pelvis. Okay. What the book tells us to do, Emma, when we have a rotated sacrum on the side of a PI ilium, mm -hmm. the book tells us to do the pelvis. Okay. I'm going to examine you and do the actual measurement to say, okay, based on this leg check, this is where we're going to start. Okay. I'm not looking at starting at the rotated part here. I'm looking at starting down low right. to bring it up. Okay. That's why I'm justifying doing that over the pelvis. Pelvis, okay. Okay, that's my thought process. All right, let's continue. Does that make sense? Yes. Questions? It, it, yes. Is that because the, the tailbone that is um, that is leaning to the left due to old injury, if you if you don't fix that before you try to adjust the pelvis, it's just going to go back to... It goes right back. goes right back, okay. It goes right back. And that's the idea, right, is which one do we do first? I can do the rotated, I can do that, but that's still going to be an issue. So it'll just go back. And it may be just a couple of adjustments to get that set. Okay. Okay. And then we can get to this part here. Okay. Okay. As we go up the spine, so we know we have that slight mm -hmm. drop on the left. It's causing this curvature, slight mm -hmm. curvature on the left. Mm -hmm. These ligaments then end up doing what? They end up shortening over time. Right. And that's why you're feeling that pull. Ah, okay. I see. You wake up in the morning, you stretch, it pops. Pop, 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 pop. Right. The, and that's the vertebrae you, opening? You, it's the ligament, the short ligaments you're popping. Okay. So the idea is we balance this, you do your dance, the sleeping positions we'll talk about later. Mm -hmm. And in this spine situation, your sleeping on your right side is more beneficial for your low back. Okay. This little bubble right here, this is called the Megan Blasi. Nice okay. fancy word, right? The Megan Blasi and yours in particular, the shape is right, but it should be this big. Okay. So yeah. when I don't see, when I see that, yeah. and then I see all this undigested food producing all these FIPS. FIPS. Fought in progress. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I had, to, I had to bust you. Um, whenever we're treating digestion, always work north to south. If it's not getting digested here, it's not getting here. So then we do a colonic like, like a Drano, so to speak, yeah, right? Yeah. So we drain out the colon, but we never fix this. It keeps happening. It continues. So fix this. 
fix fix, fix this, this first, it, and, and then, then you can get then maybe fashion. maybe not. The neurological control of the stomach is right here in between the shoulder blades, where we're having we're some having problems. God, what Correct. does the Megan Blasey do? Megan Blasey is yeah. just a fancy word that says there's a, there's an air bubble there. It should be there. It should be there. And if we don't have the appropriate stomach acid, we're not churning that food, we're not digesting it, that Megan Blasey gets smaller. So that's what I look at when I'm looking at the digestion. So we said it curves like this. It comes back to neutral in the mid-back, okay? Right. And then what does it do immediately? It doesn't stop. It curves again almost the other way right correct so it's curving the other way as a compensation yeah. to the lower one right and as soon as you get to your mid back now let's get to the digestion heart lung all this stuff t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 this is the digestive area t6 and that's where it's the biggest skew if and this is the apex of that now okay. the right shoulder you're complaining about do you see where it's coming from yeah it's this coming from the spine so I the, knew so it. the kink watch your shoulder is up but it's not up because of the shoulder it's up because of the spine is doing this correct so the fix is going to be what the same part that's affecting your digestion is affecting your shoulders shoulders so what comes first the um, If I really tackle my digestion and clear that, will that actually that will that actually help my spine correct or no? And it also needs the adjustment. It won't correct the spine, but it'll re it'll relieve pressure. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. So we said there's an old tailbone injury, and this is where it is. When we're looking at the tailbone, this should be a smooth arc. Mm-hmm. It's bumpy. Majorly. Oh, there's a big old thing there. I mean, you're a hardcore dancer, yo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're a hardcore well, dancer, yo. Yeah. Hardcore dancers, I am. I think that might have been a bike injury. Motorbike? No. Bicycle? Just a bicycle. Okay. Like, from, that's the only thing I can think of. Okay. So, that's what that is. And we'll deal with that, okay? So, we'll deal with so, whether it's S3, S4. We'll deal with that. That's where we'll start. Now, let's go start at L5. Ideally, when we're looking at these discs, these discs should be level and parallel. You see this? This is a nice, healthy disc. Yes. This one is your L4. You had whatever happened, dance or whatever. Is that injured? That bone, you can see the shape of the bone. The bone should look like this. Your L3 is a good, good, okay, good right. shape disc. Okay. You see the shape here? Yeah, it's beat up. Okay. So, five, but here's, I want to go over the mechanics. Five is tilting slightly back, yes? Mm -hmm. It's open in the front, yes. closed slightly. Yes. So it's slightly tilting. These are designed to be level and parallel. And I'm explaining this for a reason because it's okay. going to help us determine and I'm showing you what, why we're starting in the tailbone. Okay. So, that means so five is tilted, mm -hmm. four is tilted, three is tilted, two is tilted, one is tilted, 12 is tilted, 11 is slightly tilted. Follow my process. Yeah. Very slight. Slight tilt, slight tilt. So everything, yeah, that's fine. Everything from the tailbone to this number is a compensation. Five, four, three, two, one, twelve. So everything from five to twelve, from here mm -hmm. to here, is compensating for this. Okay. Okay. So meaning we're not messing with this area. Okay. We don't need to. Okay. Okay. Not right now. Discs are all good. I, I pointed out the tilt because I'm showing you it's just a compensation to the okay. tailbone. Okay, okay, let's continue. Okay, let's get to this fun part now, the neck. So the neck is designed to have a forward curve. Yeah. Your discs are still good there, Emma, all good there, but we can see that there's a slight reversal going on right yeah. here. Yes? Yes. Whatever it is. Whatever caused it or the multiple things that may have. Okay. What I want to know is which is the culprit. And we had you do the flexion extension x-rays, right? You tilted uh -huh. back and forward. Oh, and you can see from that. Yes. So let's explain this. This is your neutral x-ray. Right. And in the neutral x-ray, we said it should go forward. The disc should be parallel. In extension, they should all go back. 
You have no extension in your... So you see how it looks like you're bending back here? Yeah. But well, your spine didn't actually bend. That's what we need to fix. Okay. That's what we will fix, okay? So you see what I'm showing you? The kink, yeah. the kink is here, but the spine's not moving. But the spine is straight up. Correct. Now here's the answer. Oh, gosh. Inflection. Two move forward, three move forward, four move, five move, six moved, seven did not move. It's still tilting. Oh. That's your answer. So when you go forward, they all move forward. Mm -hmm. When you go back, they all move back. Mm. In yours, when you're going forward, mm. this one is still stuck back. And this seven, this goes to the rotator cuff as well. Okay. And we're going to talk one more thing about that in a second. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. Okay, so we have a potential at seven, C7. We have a potential somewhere in the mid-back. We have the tailbone. Yes. Okay? After the tailbone, then we have five and pelvis. Mm -hmm. Whatever extremity stuff is going on, shoulders, elbows, knees, I'll tune all that up anyway. Okay. Okay? Questions on the x-rays. Is it making sense? It's making sense, yeah. Cool. Do you have any questions on just x-rays? No. Got it. Last thing I want to talk about the shoulder before I start. Sure. This is really, 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 really important information. Okay. The shoulder joint mm -hmm. is the only joint in the body under 100% neurological control. Fancy. What does that mean? The shoulder, say that one more time? The shoulder joint or complex, this right. here, which is the humerus, the scapula, right? Yeah. This yeah. whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then we have the rotator cuff muscles, which everyone we all know about, right? right? Sits muscles. Yes. Okay. So they did a study many, many years ago. This was taught by my, I was taught this by my mentor. And okay. there's a reason I'm saying this too. Um, they did a study where they, and this was animal studies, but they severed nerves going to every joint in the body. Mm -hmm. When they severed a nerve, every joint in the body, the joint stayed intact. When they severed the nerve going to the shoulder, the shoulder popped out. And why that's important, every shoulder case I've seen in 20 years starts in the neck. So the, the shoulder is, um, is, is constantly dependent on the, the nerve the, supply. The, the, yeah, nerve supply go to the neck. Perfect. Yeah. And it's the sits muscles. It is correct that the rotator cuff muscles hold it in place, mm -hmm. but they're constantly getting information from the lower okay. cervical spine. Okay, okay. And the reason I say that is shoulder cases, we don't start at the shoulder. Okay. And we'll motion it, we'll move it, and show you. Okay? So before we start, let's look. So first thing, look at this here. Shisha, come on this side. This is her sacrum, this is her upper body. Look, come on the side here, you can see. She carries her upper body behind the foundation. Bring your belly button in and up. So stand tall though. Okay, you can see she, when she does that, she's not able to get this curve forward. This is way too straight. Relax, okay. You can see the right bum, I'm touching the bum, the cheek. Look at the right side is higher, left side is lower. That's the AS, this is up, this is down. Okay. So the, the glute is lower on this side, higher on this side. Mm -hmm. When we look at it this way, this is slightly flatter, this comes out a little more. That's the pelvic misalignment, mm -hmm. okay? Now, we can see a little more winging here. Mm -hmm. A little more winging here, a little more pronounced here. You're right-handed, left-handed? Right. Okay, from there, look straight ahead. March in place, please. Close your eyes. I'm right here. You see what she's doing now? As soon as she closes her eyes, she wants to take off. Open your oh. eyes. <gasps> wow. Okay, my wow. hand is here. Come back here. Oh my gosh, I really thought that I was in. March in place. Eyes open, please. Eyes closed. And she's off. Dun, 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 look! Look, I'm here! Okay, that's a good test for us. Come back over here, please, Emma. Stand over here, and now just walk to the corner and back several times. 
We gotta see if she got that Birmingham wiggle. <laughs> Keep going. Now, because the left is just a bit shorter, just a bit, mm -hmm. you swing the leg. Mm. Just a tiny bit. So I'm assuming, I know I see that you carry this foot out a little bit, the right foot. Mm -hmm. But when you're walking, and I want you to check your shoes, if you're lower on that left and you're hitting that left side, then your back left heel wears out a little bit more. Okay. So if I'm walking like this? Correct. That means the back left is wearing out a little bit more. Mm. Check your shoes. If you have any shoes that are doing that, you're not wearing them anymore. Okay. Fair enough? Fair enough. You get to buy any shoes that you can yeah. buy. Yeah, new <laughs> shoes. All good. Keep walking, please. Keep walking. So she does have the Birmingham wiggle, and when you walk, you're walking kind of this way. We're not getting through the, the SI joints the way we want. Okay. Last walk back and forth, and we get started. Cool. Have a seat over here. You compensate quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Have a seat. I've never thought about how much I um, overcompensate when I walk and I will say like my training as a dancer we do a lot of exercises that pull our hips up so can I show you please one do. exercise please there is one exercise or our way of walking that we learn we'll take a walk and then our hip rotates up and out and then we and then to, to walk again we transfer and we really sit into this hip and then we step and then this hip comes up so we're constantly like I'm watching like, back by the way when you do it Watching the back leg. Start again over here. No, I'm watching your back. I want to okay. see what your oh. back is doing. So start over here and go this way mm -hmm. and just do what you were doing. So she start like that. That's okay. But look, stop. That transition you can't do correctly. Check it out. I obviously can't do that. <laughs> I so that. I'm not trying. <laughs> but look, if this is down, right? Yeah. As soon as you, you are trying to come up, yes. it's not going to go up. I see. Check it out. Yeah, it's not. Right? It's not going up. This is the next thing. Or I'm... Now you're up. This is good. We're going to do this after. Can I bring this just to yeah, see the dimples? Yeah, sure. I just want you to see the dimples. Go through that movement. Shasha, you can come closer. Right there, stop. It doesn't go up. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And by it not going up, you're going more on your outside heel there. Mm-hmm. Make sense? Yeah. You're going more on your outside heel because you're not getting that last, last bit up. So instead of going this way, I'm going also that way. Correct. Ah, I see. Have a seat, please. Starting at the base of the neck, we're running the meter on her, on the back. And... First thing we're getting is 10 points, mm -hmm. 8 points, C7, base of the neck. Good. Upper neck is good. It's actually 15 points. C7, left side. Mm, there it is. S3, 10 points, left side. 10 points is kind of like a lot. Well, it should be zero. Yeah. And the bigger the number, uh, the more inflammation there is at that joint. Okay. Mm -hmm. Head down, please. Round your back. Now the fun part. Mm -hmm. Starting at the base, we're just looking at the contours of the spine. And here's what I want us to see. Bend forward. So down the road, I want to see the bumps all the way through. I see the bumps here. They disappear here here it comes back here I want to see these bumps especially on her all the way through when she bends forward seven one two three four five yeah. tender yeah very eight yeah. or seven seven that's the sugar button oh no nine oh god <laughs> yes yeah seven yeah eight slightly less you're tensing now oh. you're, uh, you're guarding now Seven, mm -hmm. seven, eight, nine. More at eight, more at nine. Eight or seven? Seven, for sure. Okay. Scoot forward, please. Feet together. 
Open and close the knees, open and close. Right side only, please. As she does the right, you can feel and see the left hip wants to shift because of the fixation. Left side only, please. When you do the left, there's a little bit of movement of the right, but it's not so bad on the right. Do you feel the difference I there? I do, yeah. Right side again. You feel how this whole left yeah. shifts, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, scoot back for me, please. Now let's test L5 sacrum all the way back. Okay, here's what I want you to do. When you lean back, just fulcrum at my thumb. Just lean back there, perfect. And of course, she's gonna be duper duper flexible. Keep the head straight, neck straight, come back slowly, good. This one, two, tender. No. More tender here. Yes. Or more tender here. It's the first option. Right there. Yes. S2. Three. I gotta go down one more. Sure. Right there. So that's tender. That is, yes? Yeah. S4. Mm. That's where we're gonna start. S4, T7, C7. Let's check the movement of the shoulders now. Let's make sure we have a nice smooth glide. Mm. Okay, so we're doing push button test. Left side, we're approximating the shoulder. This one doesn't go back as well. This is smoother. This is stuck up a tiny bit. Next, can I raise this up, please? Sure. Let me do the work. Eh. You feel that? It's not, it's not smooth. Okay. Okay, watch. Let's check the other side for comparison. See smooth? Oh. You see smooth? Yes. That's a silky smooth. Oh my gosh. This is no bueno. This we no. want to make it smooth, okay? okay? We make it smooth, you feel good. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I did. It felt, I was like, oh, it feels normal. Then you did this one, I was like, oh, that's So that's our, that's our comparison. Okay. Go on your back, please. Let's check the hip. Go ahead, this On your back, please. And the right is the issue. We'll start with the left then. Okay. Raise your left side. Are we good so far? Yes. Okay, right? Okay. Bend the knee. And the first thing we're doing is patellar tracking. We're on the medial border of the patella. We're just doing a flexion extension of the hip. No clicking, no popping. Valgus, but time to get there. Tiny bit of tiny bit off on valgus. Mm -hmm. Varus. Good. Other side. Raise your right leg. Bend the knee. So we're going to do S4, okay. S4 tailbone. Okay. We're going to do T7, C7. Mm -hmm. After that, I'm going to have you walk. Sure. Then we're going to retest the shoulder, make sure shoulder is good. We probably don't need to touch the shoulder. You'll see. Yeah. We probably won't need to touch it. Then I am going to work on your ankles, and then I'll tune up whatever else is out. There we go. I'm there. And the short leg is slightly on the left, so we want to torque up on the left, clockwise. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. I need you to receive. Easy. Oh! Gotcha. Mm. That's a piece. Mm. You okay? Mm -hmm. Good. T7. Mm. the shoulders. There's the rest. You got some reflexes, yo. What's that, man? <laughs> Let's walk. Let's walk. <sighs> Next, we're going to go left side down. I want to get more of your tailbone. Okay. On your side, please. Mm -hmm. Hardest patience to adjust is the flexible female dancer. Oh, really? Yeah, they think the big people are hard. Now, we're torquing to raise it up on the bottom. Relax the shoulder. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, gosh, that really did it. Gotcha. I felt that here. 
Yeah. Come up slowly. Oh, that's not lazy. Walk it up. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. That was it. Walk it was three. There's a huge release afterwards, no? She's flush. She wants to cry now. <laughs> and you're allowed to. It's okay. Let it go. Let I it. knew that would happen. Oh, it feels really good. So part of that also is that whatever that injury was, mm -hmm. you're holding it. It's coming out. The trauma. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. Did you pick me? <laughs> But you knew that already. <laughs> oh, you watched the show? Oh. Yes, I watched the show. <laughs> wow, that feels amazing. Oh, that really like... Do your movement now, check it out. Oh, it feels, it feels better. It feels better. It just feels, fr everything feels like... Free. Free. It's just like literally the best word. It feels free. Hmm. Wow, that's amazing. Keep that's going. amazing. Keep I want to watch. Mm -hmm. So we have a comparison. Go ahead. It's not binding as much. I know, I see what you're See what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow, it's more con like consistent flow rather than it getting stuck. It probably still has some way to go, but I don't I guess I it just feels so sort of free. Like a lot released. That's amazing. Amazing. I'm just getting started. Okay. C7, you ready now? C7. C7. Hi. You good? Mm hmm. Okay. I have permission? Yes. Oh! Gotcha. That was a lot, right? Yep, a little bit more, okay? Yeah. One more. Oh, really? Okay. Right side. Light, light, light. No, 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 no. Drop there. Mm-hmm. That's it. Oh, look at that. Sit up straight. Check it out. God, it's I haven't touched different. it though, right? Drop. There you go. <gasps> Try it now. <laughs> wow. Bueno. Good. It's so amazing. Awesome. Wow. Now, let's continue. It hasn't here. felt like that in years. Wow. Uh, I'm looking at your wings. All right. Stand up. Check it out. March in place. Hands on the side. Don't hold on to the... Look, they're more even now. Still a little more winging on this side, uh -huh. but more even. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and walk for us, please. Mm -hmm. Walk to the corner, walk a few times. You do feel your hips now, right? I hope. Yes. I hope so. Yes. It, everything down here just feels more free. Like, I guess, I, I guess it was almost like stiff. And yes. now I'm feeling the motion of the joints, like a bit more of this. Mm. Neck um, is clear, by the way. That's amazing. T7 is clear. Do 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 do. Wow. <laughs> Sacrum is clear. Wow. Feet together, scoot forward, please. Open and close your knees. Open and close. Open and close. Right side only. Different. 
Tiny bit there still, but different. Mm -hmm. Left side only. Cool. Scoot back for me, please. Mm -hmm. Check on the tailbone, all the way back. What do you think? That's so much easier. There's no pain. And it's more fluid. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, my dumb. Let's check your hands. Last thing. So that's how they were, or you did something. No, that's how they work. It's hereditary. What, 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 you talking about my palms or my... Yeah. This? Yeah, hereditary. They're just All like... This. Oh, yeah, look, look, I'm stretched out as much as I can. So if there's anyone out there who can read palms... Yeah, look help, at that. Help us out here. <laughs> squeeze my hand. This is how I check hands, though. So squeeze. Squeeze. I'm checking the joints. Wow. Squeeze. Okay, so we need to do the humerus on the inside. Relax. <gasps> Posterior, lunate, scaphoid. There. <laughs> squeeze. Squeeze. Radial head. Posterior lunate. Scaphoid. Questions. Go like this five times. Squeeze hard. Squeeze. Firm. Squeeze. You do feel it, right? Yeah. Firm handshake now. Okay. Questions? Um, no, I'm just, I'm just like, just shocked. I'm, I'm shocked. Like that was, it feels, that feels amazing. How do you, how do you feel that? Just not, it's not firing. It's something that I do, just kind of developed over the years, what I'm feeling when I squeeze somebody's hand or somebody squeezes my hand. Think of this as your pulley system. These are the, the joints are the pulleys, these are the cables. I'm feeling that everything is seated correctly, it's a firm handshake. I'm not feeling that, oh, this is strong, this is weak. That's a secondary finding. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at, okay, so you shake my hand, I'm feeling the weakness and instability in the elbow on the inside there, more towards the triceps. When you shake here, I'm, you're going like this, posterior lunate, posterior lateral scaphoid, so that's part of the answer. Ah. Putting it back. Squeeze. Yeah. On this side when you did it, the weakness was on the outside of the elbow, not the inside. Oh, wow. That's what I felt a little yeah. squeeze. And now it's fine. Wow. That's amazing. Thank okay. you so much. And last thing, did I do her ankle, Shesha? On your back. Tender there. Yeah, very. Yeah, tender there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's the side of the short. Down the road, I'll be doing more detail with this. Okay, we'll go through the whole mechanism of misalignment of the foot and the six major misalignments that occur with a sprained ankle. Okay. And every dancer has sprained their ankle, yeah. so it's good information. Good. There you go. Okay, walk it off one last time, and we're all set. Okay, thank you. Walk on your toes, up high, little smoother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, walk on your heels. Very nice. Yeah. You're all set, my dear. Thank you so much. Welcome to the um, Yay, I'm so appreciative. I'm sorry if I'm a bit like, you know, I'm just, it, it's so emotional, like, yes. when you feel that release, I was like, oh, especially this one, it's crazy. And you felt more than the biggest release on the right hip or the left hip? It was when you had me lying down on the left side. So you felt it on the right hip? Yes, and even when you did this, I felt it all, it all here. Okay. And How's the shoulder? it feels so much better, Good. so much better. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Take care.